Welcome to the Market Record News, I'm Renko de Our top story today, war crimes. But before we get to the war crimes, let's just go down the list of all the new cool stuff that we're gonna have. Okay, first off, half AP, double experience, things, like, okay, whatever. I was talking about cool stuff, let's actually get to the cool stuff. New main story chapter, chapter 10. No, it's not the finale. A lot of people think that, uh, or people thought, that came over from NA, that Chen has to be the finale, but there was never anything saying that arc 2 was also gonna have 10 chapters so yes yeah, it's gonna have more than 10 chapters this is not gonna be the finale so what is this gonna be about well about uh, a war criminal and about sasha as most people expected that it would be mostly about the war criminal then next up we have well this gacha right here both step up and normal gacha it's the war criminal so um I'm gonna have to say I'm, I'm gonna say that a lot more, but yeah, this is even a, the reason I call her War Criminal is because that's basically what she does in the story. Um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna give like any specific spoilers, but basically everyone agrees, even the Himena fans that I've talked to, that yeah, that's just what she does. That's part of her character, and, and it's not like oh we're gonna try and act like she doesn't do those things, but it most so is that we we like her despite that, right? Kind of like when uh, Toka does terrible things. There are Toka still has a lot of fans out there, but they just go okay, but well, we like Toka despite trying to kill millions of people, right? Um, or maybe some people even like her because of that. But the point is, we're not gonna try and act like that isn't what's happening here. However, what does she actually like as a, uh, as a gameplay unit? Well, uh, support, acceleration, water type, water attack up, water attack up. Well, yeah, hold us, hold up a second. Isn't she basically everything that we thought we were gonna get from Urara? Because there's, there's the fire Kimochi coming up where you're gonna use your Aqua characters, right? So I thought that, hey, we have already have two really great Aqua Magia characters. It's, um, on the one hand, Kairi now who just had a rerun, but like in a group gacha, so it's actually terrible. Uh, and we had, I have Mayu, who is probably still one of the top, like, three best unlimited units in the entire game. Uh, and between those two, you're looking at a lot of Magia now, a lot of support. Uh, in the uh, MP generation area, so yeah, let's get a support that actually works to uh, works well together with uh, with those guys. So lots of magia, lots of excel, uh, lots of MP. She doesn't have MP sadly, but just generally buffs uh, buffs as well because I don't think I don't think the other two actually buff like damage that much. So we need some we need some damage buffing, right? Um, water type, water attack, all that, all all of that stuff. And we thought this was gonna be Urara because Urara still wasn't released and was kind of missing out. And Urara is definitely gonna be water type because she's frog themed. You would think that frogs are water type, right? Right? Uh, and it would it would have just made sense. It's a bit of a, uh, a less important unit to the overall manga record, right? Uh, like Urara is a rather small character, I would say. So it would make sense to just make her a really good aqua support, uh, magia support for the next Kimochi. She's a frog, she's water type, fits perfectly. And then in comes Himena and says, what if I didn't do that? And then Himena used her powers to steal Ura's abilities, because that's actually her power. She can do that. She's basically uh, all for one, uh, in a sense. Has some caveats to it, but yeah. So she basically just stole with us powers and like, actually, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the Kimochi bait now. Look at me, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm the war criminal. I do, I do, I do Kimochi now, apparently. So yeah, with that, I can already tell you that yeah, she's just gonna be Kimochi bait. Does she do anything outside of that? Well, your entire kit is aqua damage up, aqua damage up. It's just all aqua damage up everywhere. Uh, she starts better with aqua damage up. Yeah, it's a lot of aqua damage up everywhere. So if you're playing her outside of an aqua damage team, you're already losing like half of her entire kit. Because um, she doesn't do much else. She has like attack up, okay. Uh, attack up over here, which is also fine. Some maga damage up uh, to everyone for one turn. And, like damage up, so damage up and maga damage up. So you also want to play on a maga team, because otherwise this maga damage up is not going to do anything. Um, and she generates her own MP for the first few turns in the battle, which is fine. And you can't be charmed. Great. So yeah, she basically just exists to be a bait for Magia teams on Kimochi, which is gonna be what you're gonna be playing on the Kimochi, because I think most people are gonna be playing Mayu, Kairena, and now this as the support. And then whatever else they can fit into that, probably some weak MP shenanigans. But yeah, the point is, she's top for Kimochi, probably. Probably, I don't know, I'm not away myself. You're probably gonna be top for Kimochi. Outside of that, probably not gonna be a whole lot. You have to play her in an aqua team. And if you already are not willing to play her in an aqua team, they, they show an aqua team down here. This would actually be an absolutely goddamn fucking terrible aqua team because you have a blaster, an accelerator, and then two charges characters. 
that that just doesn't work out, it would not work out in any way. Also, all these characters hate each other, so that doesn't, also doesn't work out. So, yeah. There's not much else to say about her. Other than the fact that the memorial is also kind of bad. I say, or I say also bad. Uh, she's she's great for Kimochi, just bad outside of Kimochi. So if you're looking for Kimochi, she's top, like I said. But yeah, the uh, memorial is like attack up and damage cut. Damage cut, like, who cares? What? Uh, and then this one here, I, did, I didn't even read the effect for this. What does it even do? Damage down to a single enemy and defense up to self. No, it's not good. However, that's gonna be something special. Uh, and this is gonna be a bit weird, because this is gonna be something that we're gonna now see on every single gacha in the future. An addition, a new addition to basically every gacha, because basically every gacha now has a step up gacha, okay? Every gacha now has a step up gacha, basically. And what they're gonna do is, the third step, which just gave you some kind of materials, I think like daily coins or whatever, like who gives a shit, basically gave, gave you not really anything important. Now, the third step actually gives you a special ticket. And this special ticket allows you to select one memoria one foster memoria out of the pool of a whole bunch of unlimited memoria so a whole bunch of unlimited memoria sadly Nyota isn't on here uh a whole bunch of unlimited memoria that you can get including the current rate up memoria this which is rather interesting that now for the very first time in about five years of this game existing there is now actually a way of getting the rate up memoria guaranteed from a shop, basically. All you have to do is spend 180 uh, paid gems, because these are paid gems, you have to pay, spend 180 paid gems to do three steps of the uh, step of gacha, then you get the ticket, and then with that ticket, you can buy either a random, uh, not a random, but you can select uh, one of many unlimited memoria, uh, up until including things like from the 28th of January, everything that wasn't released until then or something like that, I don't know, uh, or the rate up memoria. <coughs> Yay. You finally have a way of getting the rate up memorial, it only costs 180 paid gems. At least you get three 10 rolls for this in total, because each step is one 10 roll, so... Overall, if you're already someone who has decided they're gonna spend some money on the step up gacha, this is really fucking good value. This is actually really fucking good value now, so... Good job. Good job. Now what else do we have in here? Well, somehow... Uh, we're gonna get back. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why we're getting bags, but let's just, actually let's just talk about the bags first, okay? So what are we getting for the bags? Um, the bags have oh my god, there's way too much stuff in here. An innocent gem for the 350 paid gems. This is 350 paid gems. They're both paid paid gems. It's 200 paid gems or 350 paid gems. The first one has an innocent gem, very important. A 10 roll, which is good, and then some random shit no one cares about. So yeah, an innocent gem and a 10 roll for 350. I think that's about uh, about on par, I think, with most of the bags. I'm not quite sure. It might really, if most of the bags might have actually been like 300 for this kind of deal. It might slightly, it might be slightly more expensive than usual, or might might be just about where it usually is. But yeah, it's 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 a it's a bag. It's a normal bag, okay? There's nothing too special about this one. And then the lower bag is just a 10 roll, uh, some shit I don't care about, and an over limited core. 200 paid gems could probably ask for a little bit more than that to be honest like at least at least a ticket they could have like bundled one of those memoria tickets that we now get from the step up gacha with this i think that would have been better not it would have it wouldn't have been that much better because the, it's just one force of memoria but at least it would be something i think they still could have given us more than just one only limited core for this to be honest um so yeah i guess when you buy the bottom one if you're an absolute over whale um, and if you're just an average whale, then maybe the top one is going to be fine for you. And, uh... Did they say something else? Special shop? Wait a second. Oh yeah, and this is not, this is not a bag down here. This is, this is not a bag, but for 200 paid gems, you can choose... Oh yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the special shop where you can buy basically any of these girls. It's an unlimited characters down here. Any of these unlimited characters. Um... For 200 paid gems, but it has to be a character you don't already have. If you don't already have um, Aina, for example, then you can just get an Aina for 200 paid gems. Which means you basically just get a one slot of a character you don't have, which in 99% of cases is actually god fucking awful. And I would not, I would not even spend 200 free gems for this. 
let alone 200 page jumps. So this is actually a pretty bad, it's actually a pretty terrible uh, deal. But hey, if it gets Wales to spend more money, that's actually good because Wales basically pay for the rest of everyone else. So nice. Moving on. Now for the reason why we even got those bags in the first place. It's a step up gacha. Oh my god, isn't that a great voice? Step up gacha right here with Yosuru and Sudachi. Okay, but why Yosuru and Sudachi? Uh, by the way, their step up, step up gacha also has the memoria ticket. Yay, so it's a separate step up gacha that also has the memoria ticket. Great. But here's the reason why. Apparently, Battle Museum does actually exist. So you know that this was run in November, back when I said it's gonna run every single month. It was actually a mistranslation. It w it didn't say that it was gonna run every month. It will say it, it said that it was gonna run every few months. Apparently, every few months means like once every seven months or something, which is maybe like twice a year. Um, I was still hoping it would run more often than that, to be honest, because this is this actually seemed pretty fun. So yeah, maybe this only runs like two times a year or something. So it's basically the uh, old accomplish events where basically where you have to go through many many stages 50 stages here in a in a row okay you can take breaks in between but you go through from one step to uh, from one stage to the next to the next to the next and if your character takes damage they will still have that damage when you go into the next battle so uh, so of course after some time your your characters will get worn down over time your healing does less and less over time it, it was that way in uh, in accomplish events and after sometimes the characters of course are gonna die and when they die they actually stay dead unless you use special specific healing items that you only have a handful of or something um, so basically it's just how far can you go um, but even with free to play stuff currently at least on the last version of this the 25 stages they were pretty darn easy so even now with 25 more stages I assume it's still gonna not gonna be that hard um, because this is a kind of event that would get harder over time, but if it only runs like two times a year, there's not that many opportunities for, act for it to actually get harder. So it might actually take years for this to actually get really difficult. So yeah. Overall though, Battle Museum, awesome. They should run it more often. Please run it more often. And that's what it is. There's gonna be an up update for bug fixes and new content and all that kind of stuff. So overall, overall, what are we getting? We're getting Battle Museum, we're getting a new chapter, we're getting Himena, and we're getting Yosuru Gacha and Bags. And after this week, in a week from now, I'm going to announce, hey, we're going to have the Ruby Kimochi, because they said they're going to run the Kimochi at the end of May, and this whole sort of event ends on the 30th of May, so they're going to have to run it then if they said late May. So yeah, Ruby Kimochi is going to be after that. <coughs> Probably nothing special. Might not even make a news video if we don't actually get anything new together with the Kimochi. Because I'm not gonna make a video that's just use Kimochi and bags and aqua gacha. Yeah, whatever. But that was that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you guys next time.